Today we are looking at litter tray behaviour. Does your cat poo or wee on the soft furnishings rather than using the litter tray? Understandably, this is the most common behavioural reason that owners seek help for, as it's frustrating and not nice to clean up. The most important thing to know is that help is at hand, and the sooner you seek advice from a qualified professional, the better. The first port of call is always to take your cat to the vet to rule out any medical issues. It's important to mention any change in your cat's behaviour, even if you think they're not relevant to the toileting issue. For example, has your cat been quite slow to get up after a period of lying down, or not jumping on the windowsill as much lately? When the vet has ruled out medical reasons, there are a number of litter tray factors to look at. Consider the following. Location. Place the litter tray in a private but accessible location. As clean, sensible animals, they want their litter tray away from all their other resources, particularly food and water. It's common for owners to put litter trays next to cat flaps or glass back doors. However, this is a very vulnerable place from the cat's perspective. Instead, look for quiet areas of the house. Older cats may prefer having a litter tray both upstairs and downstairs for ease of access. Litter type. Most cats prefer soft, sand-sized litter. If you have a cat that's pooing next to the tray but weeing in the tray, it could be the litter is too hard underneath their soft paws. Cats place more pressure on their back legs and paws when pooing compared to weeing, which is why a soft litter type is preferable. Litter depth. Most cats prefer litter that's about three centimeters deep. Litter cleanliness. Cats are known for being fastidiously clean. They expect the same level of cleanliness as you do from your toilet. It depends on the litter type and your cat, but as a general rule, try and remove waste products at least twice a day and clean out the whole tray once a week. Litter tray type. Does your cat have enough space to turn around and dig? Some toileting problems are caused by providing adult cats with small kitten trays. Every cat is different and it's about trying to find the right tray for your cat. Many cats are happy with a standard open rectangular litter tray. Others prefer the privacy of a covered litter tray. If so, remove the cat flap door as this can keep the smell contained and can also put them off as it taps the cat as they enter or exit the litter tray. Privacy. Try placing an open rectangular tray inside a cardboard box which is open at the top. Cut in two holes on two adjacent sides and this means that they've got an entry and exit point. This will make the cat feel more secure. It doesn't trap the smell inside and it's much easier for you to see when it needs cleaning out. Number of trays. As a general rule, provide cats with one litter tray per cat plus one extra for choice and to reduce any competition. Even if your cat has outdoor access, always provide a litter tray in the house. Understandably, cats don't like toileting in bad weather and it can be difficult in winter if the ground is frozen and hard to dig. Some cats feel safer using a tray in the house particularly if there are other cats in the neighbourhood that may be intimidating your cat. I hope you found this interesting. Please check out our website, cats.org.uk forward slash behaviour for more detailed information about toileting behaviour and other feline behaviours. Bye!